Look at what we're gonna have for lunch today. Pork chops with charcuterie sauce. A great French classic dish. All right, let's get to work. So first, I'm going to chop uh, some onions and shallots. So the charcuterie sauce is a finishing sauce that originated in France and is made up of onions, white wine, mustard, and chopped cornichons and left to simmer in demi-glace. This flavorful sauce just adds so much to any meat, especially pork. Hey, Bruno Albuz here. Welcome to my cooking channel and blog brunoalbuz.com. First thing you want to do is to sweat the onions and shallots in butter until soft, without coloring. It already smells incredible. Add the white wine and reduce by two thirds. Meanwhile, I'm going to heat up the frying pan. By the way, if you are cooking anything over higher heat, always let the pan heat up for a couple of minutes before adding the oil. Now, I am going to grab the meat, pat dry, and season generously with salt on both sides. It looks like the pan is hot, so I'm gonna put a drizzle of uh, high smoke point oil and sear the meat three minutes on each side. We'll finish cooking later, cause you want to save brown beets left in the pan for the sauce. Here we go, I'm gonna deglaze that pan with uh, my veal demi-glace and pour the whole thing back to the saucier. Bring to a boil and let it simmer for 30 minutes or so. This is where taste comes from. So, to marry pork shop charcutière, I'm gonna make two easy and yet delicious bistro side dishes. A la Vichy carrots, carrot à la Vichy, and butter parsley potatoes. Pomme de terre persillée au beurre. When the sauce is cooked, sieve and leave it on the back burner for now on low heat. So, in order to spice up my charcutier sauce, I'm gonna add some crushed green peppercorns. Green peppercorns can be soaked in brandy, wine, or stock. When you need it, drain, crush, and toast, and add it to the sauce. Now, I'm gonna make a thickening slurry using wine and cornstarch. Add it to the boiling sauce and cook for two minutes. Now you want to season the sauce with mustard, lemon juice, uh, sugar, salt, and cornichon. Charcutier sauce, done. Next, I'm gonna take care of a la Vichy carrots. Cook carrots in sparkling water, butter, and a dash of sugar and salt. And a secret ingredient, I'm gonna add some carrot juice. And this one's got ginger and turmeric, which is even better. Carrot juice, it's excellent for your skin. Put the lid on and cook for 10 minutes. Then remove the lid and let it simmer until cooked through. At the end of cooking, the liquid should be completely gone and carrots are glazed in their own juice and butter. Next in the agenda, buttered parsley potatoes. Cut cooked potatoes into wedges and toss in butter. Season with a salt, pepper, and parsley. These two side dishes, a la Vichy carrots and buttered parsley potatoes, are easy to make, delicious, and work with any meal. All right, so everything is ready to go, except the meat. Preheat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 Celsius. Pop the seared meat in the oven and finish cooking for about 10 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 Celsius for medium. And let meat to rest on cutting board before slicing. And sure thing, you want to save the rendered juice for the potatoes or the sauce. Plate out Vichy carrots first, then potatoes and the meat, and top with julienne cornichon and the sauce. To get the full recipe, visit my blog brunoalbouz.com. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day, bon appétit, see you soon.